things change, the more they stay the same. Boundaries shift, new players step in, but power always finds a place to rest its head. Oh my god! I got the quad feed, right? I got it? It was there? I got the quad feed? I got murdered out. I don't know what that was, but I got it. Fuck you. The active armor, bitch. What up guys, it's Expert Hellraider here. I hope you enjoyed the shotgun clip at the beginning of the video. I thought it was one of the better shotgun clips I've hit today, and one of the better uh, clips in general that I've had. Today I'm here to bring you the Titan L Laser LMG. If you had asked me at the beginning of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare what the best LMG in the game was, I would have pointed in any other direction than the Titan. I thought the Titan was a garbage hit marker machine, but... With playtesting and attachment setups and trying and figuring out what, what really makes this weapon shine, I have changed my opinion vastly on the weapon. I actually honestly believe that this is one of the best LMGs in the entire game for a couple of reasons. One, tight, a semi-tight hip fire spread so you can challenge people up close and hip fire spray and pray. A, the largest magazine in the entire game, which is 100 rounds. Uh, Self-reloads because it's a laser weapon. Ricochets because it's a laser weapon, so you can really spray and pray around those corners. And and the fastest fire rate for the LMG category. Uh, for the class setup today, I'm definitely going to suggest a, a sight, believe it or not. The iron sight, for the actual view through the iron sight, is not too bad. But for some reason, when you use the iron sight, it has this giant extra clunky like magazine attachment to the right of the gun, which blocks a hell of a lot of view off the gun, which makes it a lot less usable, in my opinion. So I definitely suggest some kind of sight to back this gun up. The three best sights for this weapon, in my personal opinion, VMC number one, it gives you some kind of weird accuracy bonus. So your view kick's not that bad, and you can really actually like hunker down and laser people from a far distance. Second one is the Trojan Sight, which you see here in this gameplay, and as you can see, for distant shots, I don't actually move a lot with the uh, the recoil, and I thought that was pretty good, and then the normal Red Dot Sight, which everyone gets at level 1, so that's not too bad. The other three attachments on the weapon, I use Quick Draw, so I can compete with other assault rifles, and LMGs, and snipers, and everything else that's basically quicker aiming down sights than an LMG. Uh, foregrip to make my spread and recoil a lot less so it's much easier to kind of long range people and or close range people and not have uh, a lot of difficulty doing it. And of course a silencer to give me the added benefit of being not on the radar and to destroy a lot of enemies without them knowing that I exist. Perks to go along with this four attachment setup. Ghost and only ghost. Since I'm running four attachments, it takes up more points and I'm not allowed to use uh, the two perks in the tier one slot. So I'm only going to use ghost in this setup. Ghost is fine because this weapon, since it's a laser weapon, reloads on its own over time and it's pretty... You shouldn't be able to get down to like 13 rounds without killing the two or three people in front of you first, so you shouldn't have to worry about it. Plus, this weapon has the lar largest LMG magazine in the entire game, and then on top of that, you can actually reload cancel the animation about like uh, halfway through and you'll still keep all 100 rounds and you can skip the rest of the animation and just continue on. Uh, my second tier perk is definitely Hardline. Hardline is one of the most better perks to choose, especially for assault rifles and LMGs. So you can kind of bunker down and get those kill streaks a little bit quicker and push the enemy that much harder. For your perk three, uh, it's a kind of a toss up between Dead Silence. I use Dead Silence and TDMs because I run around with Merc, and for some reason his footsteps, or a Synaptic for that matter, are a lot louder than other specialists. So Dead Silence really helps me out and lets me kind of creep up on people, especially since I'm running the silencer. If you don't have Dead Silence, Choose Hardwired. Hardwired keeps you off of a lot of other specialists' abilities, such as paying and countering UAVs and other things like that. It's kind of helpful. It's very beneficial, even if it doesn't seem like it. Now, since I have four attachments and three perks, we have one leftover point, and that's going to go towards my jammer grenade, which can concuss enemies, take out equipment, and kind of hurt killstreaks on the ground. 
Speaking about hurting kill streaks, this weapon is actually a fantastic support weapon. In the sense that if you don't want to use it how I'm using it here, if you need a kill streak killer class, this weapon will do a fantastic job. Uh, basically, kill streak killer class is LMG, uh, the FMJ. Oh, I don't know what the actual laser attachment is called for that. Where you, oh, it's flak I think, where you do extra damage against score streaks. A rocket launcher, blind eye, ghost, cold blooded, and then like hardwired. And in my personal experience, when I used the Titan, uh, there was an enemy warden in the air, and it only took me 30 rounds out of 100 without the uh, flak attachment on to destroy the warden, which is pretty excellent considering that's not even half the magazine to take it down, especially compared to other LMGs in the game. I definitely suggest Merc as your first specialist of choice. With the reactive armor and the infusion perk, reactive armor allows you to tank some bullets while putting some bu other bullets on range. Infusion allows you to recover health that much quicker when you need a duck for cover or in a gunfight. Also, a close second in the uh, combat rigs or specialist category is Synaptic with Rushdown and Rewind. If you don't have Rushdown, try uh, Combat Burst. When you kill an enemy with Combat Burst equipped, you get to run a little bit quicker on the field. And if you don't know why, I suggest Rewind. If you get yourself into a bad situation or your gun's low on ammo and there's three people around the corner and you can't fight them off, use the Rewind perk. It'll reload your gun, re refill up your health, and you can re attempt the battle at hand or pick a, an escape route, one of the two. Uh, the third runner-up is always going to be Warfighter. Ping is just a deadly specialist ability. Being able to kill somebody and tell where their teammates are on the mini-map or tell when people are on corners because other people don't have hardwired on is just brutal. Plus, the claw is a little ridiculous at close range, especially when this LMG could fail you at that range. That's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay. As for now, this is your boy X Pre Hellator Sonic. Fifty-five and four just now with the fucking Titan. Thirteen point eight K.